Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be making this beautiful alley cat romper by Lil... Lil Lux? <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that. By Lil Lux, I'll include a link to where you can purchase this pattern in the description. And oh my gosh, I love how this turned out. This was actually my first time sewing this, but it was so easy. So I can't wait to show you all. And it's so big, it doesn't even fit in the frame. But okay, let's get started. Here are all the pieces. I followed the pattern exactly, so I cut everything out. We have our two front pieces, two back pieces, two leg cuffs, two sleeves, and then our front and back pants portion right here. So let me put everything aside. And the first step we're going to do is to take our bodice pieces. So here we have our two back pieces. I'm just gonna lay them out like this. And now we're going to take our front bodice pieces and lay them on top. So you just wanna match up the shoulders like this. Same thing over here, match up the shoulders. I already ironed this on because I think it'll be easier to construct everything instead of um, ironing it on afterwards. But if you're not ironing anything on, then obviously skip that step. Okay, so we're going to just sew the four shoulders. I am going to be using my serger today, and this calls for a 3 8 seam allowance. So I'm going to do that right now. There's what that step look li looks like. And now we're just going to open them up and place them right sides together. You want to make sure that you're matching your front bodice with your front bodice. You can tell because there's this big curve for the back, which is for the scoop back. So now we're going to line up our seams, make sure they look okay. And then we're going to sew all around the neck hole. So you just want to go all around right there. So now that that's sewn, we're just going to turn it um, and make sure that everything is facing out the way it's supposed to. So since we have this patch in the front, I want to make sure that it's going to be in the front. Now that we have it like this, we're going to add our sleeves. So what you're going to do is take your sleeve, keep it folded, and then place it right at the seam line like this. So here's the opening where you're going to place it like this. And then I just recommend clipping it right in the center like this this and you just want to clip one side of it and we're gonna do the same for the other sleeve so again keep it folded and then place it right where the seam is at and just clip it and then I'm going to sew these on and all I do is open it up and try to match them so I start here and then as I'm sewing I'll manipulate it so that it meets, I mean, matches the end like this. So as I'm sewing, all I'm doing is just moving it around so that it, all the ends meet. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. There's what that should look like with the sleeves all sewn on. And now we're going to flip it so that the front is um, matching with the back. And then we're going to sew the sides. So what you're going to do is match up the sleeve and the sides of the bodice. And sew here and down. And same with the other side. Match up the sleeves. And then you're going to sew all the way down the side like this. So now here's what that looks like. Um, all sewn on the sides, and I'm just going to turn it right side out like this. And we're done with our bodice for now. We're going to work on the leg parts now. So there's two leg pieces. There's the front, which has this curve. And then there's the back of the legs which just go straight across so for both of these we're going to gather them 
Now, I do have a video on my channel for an easy way to gather with your serger, but I'm going to use a different method than that one. So, I'm going to bring you guys over to my serger and show you the settings that I use to gather this to match the bodice. Here is my serger. This is the Brother 1034D. All we're going to do to gather is change our needle settings. So I'm at like a four and a little tick. And I'm just going to go all the way to six. So we're going to add two to our um, needle threads. If you find that this isn't working for you, I would even go up to a seven or 7.5, just depending on your settings. And then on the side, here are my settings. We're going to go all the way up to a 2 for our differential feed, and we're going to shut off our knife for this. And all I'm going to do now is stitch straight across both of the legs right on, right at the top, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So here they are, all gathered. This is what it looks like on the top. I just ran a stitch all the way at the top. And we're going to compare it to our bodice. Now, since we are including the 3 8 seam allowance, this looks about to be perfect. Same for the bottom. If it seems a little, um, if it seems too big, what you can do is use um, my video that I have up on my channel. But essentially, you just grab one of the needle threads and you just push the fabric in so that you can gather it even more to match the bodice but i'm not too worried about it right now because once we um move on to the next step it'll be okay so for the next step all you're gonna do is grab your back piece and i'm actually going to add a clip to the back of the legs just so i remember which one's which it's not um it's not necessary, but just for my sake. Anyways, now we're going to put our leg pieces right sides together like this. And all you're going to do is stitch down the legs. So we're going to stitch with our serger or sewing machine, whichever one you're using. You're going to go down the legs, stop um, the whole middle of the legs, this area. And then again, down this side of the leg. And then I'll be back. So there's what that looks like now. And all I'm going to do is put our bodice piece inside the leg. So remember I put that little clip. I know that that's the back. So you want to match up the front with the front and the back with the back. And we're also going to clip this at the side. So let me grab two more pins. Um, so we're going to clip this right here. You just want to match up the side seam with the side seam. Same with this, side seam with side seam. And then match it up in the middle as well. So now it's clipped, and all we're going to do next is serge all around. And I'm going to show you the settings that I use to attach this part so that everything can be enclosed um the stitches and right here can be enclosed so i went back to my normal settings when i went and sewed the legs but now all we're going to do is switch our stitch width from a five we're going to go all the way up to a seven and we're going to make sure that our blade is off or actually going to move it so it's right at the edge there and then turn off the blade and then I'm just gonna go right ahead and attach everything together um, my tip for this is to have the serger I mean the gathering stitches on top so that you can see them and that when you're sewing you want to kind of push them towards the needle so they um, so that when you're sewing these new stitches will go a little further to the left if that makes sense I will show you once I'm done Okay, so I'm reaching the end here, and I'm going to clip this tail off. Sorry, I only have one hand, but clip it like right where it 
goes like this. And then as you can see, everything is getting enclosed, meaning you can't see the gathering stitches anymore and you shouldn't be able to because this stitch is wider than the gathering stitches. Before we turn it right side out, we want to work on the leg cuffs next. So for these, you're just going to stitch them hot dog style like this. And so you're going to serge right along this line same for the other one and then i'll show you how to attach them so now we have them sewn up like this and all you're going to do is turn it out half of halfway like this so that it's a little cuff and then once you have this cuff you're going to clip it to the inside of one of the legs and you want to match this this seam here to this seam over here, which is the inside of the leg. So we're just going to put that inside, match up the seams, and then you're going to sew all around. So do that for both legs. There's what the legs look like, I mean the leg cuffs. And now the last thing we're going to do is hem the sleeves, and I'm actually going to use my cover stitch for this, but you just want to hem it. However you like, um, I like to do a half inch hem, so I'm just going to turn it a half inch and then take it to my cover stitch and I'll show you the finished product. And here is our finished product. I just want to show you a close up of the sleeves. If you don't have a cover stitch, I really recommend it. But that's it. We have our Alley Cat Leo now. And I hope that this video was helpful. As always, please leave me any comments um, if you need additional help or if you want to see me do a video on another pattern that you have, let me know. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day.